If you not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man. What's good, Stella Gang? It's your boy, Apple Classy. You are now tuning into the Realist Reacts channel on the two. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Today, this video is about Alan Livingston, aka DJ Academics. The mouse from Tom and Jerry in the face ass nigga. Whoever this fat kid right here in the face ass nigga. The guinea pig from Blockbuster in the face ass nigga. This video about him, man. Because I'm sure a lot of you already in tuned if you got me on Instagram. For the new people who are going to be watching this because you see DJ Academics name in the title. Well, DJ Academics posted my content. He didn't give any credit, didn't tag me anything. I didn't really think much of it at first because it's like, all right, I don't expect him to know exactly who I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from New York. He's from somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, not saying that he couldn't know who I am, but... Like, you know, I'm not, my, my, my channel is not that big yet. I'm only like almost 40,000 40, subscribers, feel me? But I have several videos that have went viral or whatever, feel me? But I didn't expect him to know who I was off the rip. So I hit him up, say, yo, that's my content. Could you at least give credit? Because you feel me? You're a YouTuber just like me. You know how it goes. You feel me? Like, give me my credit so that, you know, other people know whose work that is. Now it's like, it looks like the way when, when, when you post my content and you don't give me no credit, it just looks like, yo, Marquise was on live with one of his homeboys and they just ended up talking about his pops or ended up talking about pop smoke. That's not how it happened. That clip that everybody is posting is cut from a longer interview. What I did with Marquise and they cut that specific part with him saying pop smoke is better than um, 50 Cent. Matter of fact, they didn't actually cut it. I did because I posted that snippet first and then I posted the long video. But I posted it on my channel first. Everyone took that snippet from my channel and decided that they're going to go post it on whatever blogs, whatever. I'm guessing a lot of people saying it's Marquis stuff because I, did, I interviewed him on his live instead of my live. I went on his live. Feel me? But you got to understand, before I joined this live, Marquis can, he can verify this and he can, everybody that was on that live can verify it. Even the video will verify that live. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went on his live, I joined his live, and I said to him, I said, how you got a hundred and some thousand followers and you only got 42 views? Man, what's going on? You know, I was just making a joke or whatever, whatever. Got on the live, started showing the money. We started making jokes. I warmed him up because I didn't want to come off, off the rip. With the, oh, yo, 50 this and that. Warmed him up. We started having a conversation. At first, he was a little bit resistant. You feel me? He didn't want to speak on it really. But, you know, me knowing how to speak to people. I got him to speak about it. We ended up speaking about his pops. He said some shit. Woo, woo. It's a long video. He talked about his pops and he treated him like a son. His He spent all the child support money. His pops wasn't giving him that much money in child support. All that shit. But they chose what part they wanted to post or whatever. You feel me? So academics posted my shit. I'm like, all right, yo, bro. You feel me? Like nobody would have had this interview without me. That would have never happened without me. Those specific questions and everything, that wouldn't have came out without me interviewing them. So I want my credit. It's simple. Like, I want my credit. It's like me making a dance move and somebody steals my dance move and goes viral. What? That's my dance move. I created that. I want my credit. You feel me? Just simple shit like that. I know a lot of people, because he got a fan base, DJ Academics definitely got a fan base, you feel me? I know a lot of people from his fan base going to be like, oh, you're clout chasing. You're looking for clout. It's not It's not clout chasing if you put in the work in someone. Actually, it would be them clout chasing because now they took that content knowing the clout that comes with that content and they posted it. So technically, they'll be clout chasing. It's my content. So I'm not clout chasing. I'm just asking for what's mine, my credit, you feel what I'm saying? Because I put in the work 
and I got that interview, so he should credit me. You feel me? After I had so many people in this comment section, like I can show you guys better than I can tell you guys. You feel me? I had several people in this comment section. Like, look at this shit. Look at this shit. I can scroll really fast. Like you see the hearts I, because I like them. I can scroll really fast, and you'll still see. You'll still you still see me liking those comments, and you see my name. Upper class, tag upper class. They all tell them. I can continue going and scrolling. Look, I, I can continue and it'll continue going down. So it was several people in this comment section telling him, tag upper class, tag upper class. And yet he didn't tag me. I'm guessing that he's going to he's going to justify it as, oh, I have millions of followers and I didn't see that. Bro, it's no way you telling me. You have millions of followers and you didn't see that because there's other platforms with more followers than you. And I'll post some of the screenshot. They posted it and they tagged me and they have more followers than you. XXL posted me. I'm going to have all of this screenshots for everyone to see. I'm going to post screenshots while I'm talking. So it's going to be random screenshots coming up on the screen so you guys can see. It's other people with more following and they tagged me. And the crazy thing about it, when they first posted it, some of them didn't tag me at first. I don't know. Some of them probably was aware of who I am because they tagged, some of them tagged me off rip and they had a lot more followers than academics. They tagged me off rip. Some of them did it. Some of them, I sent my fans in their comment section and they saw my fans and responded to me and said, oh, we didn't, we didn't know um, who you were and whoa, whoa, whoa. But thanks for telling us and we're going to tag you right now. And they tagged me. So ain't no way DJ Academics telling me he's not seeing it and all of that shit. I just think DJ Academics on some f nigga shit. Because at the end of the day, these are the pages that posted me. They're not YouTubers. So they didn't have a problem tagging me because they don't have to worry about me coming for their spot. You feel me? At the end of the day, people going to see this regardless academics. You feel me? Because I got my little following too. And people going to see this. And I'm, all my fans, I need y'all to share this and make this shit go viral. People going to see this shit. And you you always on your videos talk about niggas is coons and people this and that. And the third, you a coon. That's some coon shit. For you to take a smaller YouTuber's content and not give credit. Just because I really feel like I really feel like I might be wrong, but I really feel like the reason he did not give me no credit is because of the fact that we're in the same field. And he probably fear of somebody newer, hotter, younger, cooler coming and take his space. You feel what I'm saying? Because a lot of people relate to my content because I have more of a street background than DJ academics. So when I speak on certain shit, people relate to what I'm saying more. DJ Academic just speak on content as a newscaster or some shit. He doesn't speak on the content like he knows anything about it. He just speaks on shit that, like basically how the news is speak about it. So he probably feels as if like, all right, yo, I ain't gonna front with this rap shit. It's, it's a lot of gangster people and a lot of people who wanna be gangster. They probably relate to him more. And me giving him that platform right there Shit, that nigga probably come try to take my spot. I'm thinking that's why he ain't giving me the credit. You feel me? I might be wrong. Because at the end of the day, you feel me? Shit. Maybe he didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he didn't see it. But I feel like, I felt like, I felt like he saw it and didn't want to give me credit for those same specific reasons I just stated. You feel what I'm saying? At the end of the day, DJ Academics, you got to understand, man, it's a lot of money out here for everyone. You feel me? And you've been doing this shit for a minute. You have your core fan base that's going to always support you regardless. You shouldn't be worried about somebody else coming up. You feel me? You should be happy to be able to say, yo, I ain't going to front. I'm the one who gave this nigga some shine. You feel me? I ain't going to front. I remember when something was coming up. You feel me? And... I made it possible for son to be litter than what he was to provide for his and people he cared about and, and it, to, to get out to struggle the hood. Well, I'm not really like struggling, but I'm in the hood. You feel me? To get out the hood and you feel me? Get out the, 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 the negative shit that's going on around the negative shit around here, period. You feel me? You should be excited to say, yo, yeah. 
I ain't gonna front. I helped a young nigga from the hood put on. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit ain't just to just strictly bash him and come at his character or nothing like that. But I feel like I needed to speak on that shit because this shit happens way too much where you got bigger names that are just like basically kick niggas to the curb like fuck these niggas, you feel me? I ain't shit. I'm gonna take his content and I'm gonna upload that shit. Ain't nothing he could do about that shit. Nah, nigga. That's not how that shit work. Because you see me in that video, bro. There's no way you can't say you don't see me. You could say you didn't know who I was. That's that's a given. But at the end of the day, after all, after all those comments that you seen, it's no way you... Come on, man. Come on. You telling me your notification going off. Bing, 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 bing. You see upper class, upper class, upper class, upper class, upper class. Upper, who the fuck is upper class? Why everybody keep tagging upper class? Let me clip, clip this nigga page. Oh, shit. That's the same nigga in the video I posted. Oh, what they saying? Oh, tag him? Oh, shit. This the nigga. All right, he interviewed him. You know what? Let me go tag him. Simple. That's not hard. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't take any money out your pocket for you to tag me. You feel what I'm saying? And for everybody that's going to be in the comment section, like, oh, you cloud chasing and you reaching and, oh, it's Marquis, Marquis content is not your content. You guys are just like, you guys are the reason why certain shit like this happens. You feel me? Like, real talk. You guys, you guys are fucking dweebs. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I feel like if I never interviewed Marquis, this conversation and this viral video that's going around right now would not be happening. It would not be happening. So with that being said, I need my tag. You feel me? But shit, it's a whole day later, a whole day and a half later, and he still ain't tagging me. And people are still, people are still in the comments saying, yo, tag upper class. A whole day later, people are still in the comment section saying tag upper class, but he choose not to. That's some weird nigga shit. You feel me? But y'all tell me what y'all feel about the situation. Y'all feel like I'm stretching it, or y'all feel like I deserve it my credit because I put in that work to get that that video. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, who I'm right for. I feel like DJ Academic scared a nigga take his spot. That's what I feel like. <laughs> like I really feel like that nigga, he's petrified that somebody else will come and be a better him. You feel me? I don't care if he don't want if he wanna say, oh nah, nah. she don't gotta admit it. But I, I feel like that. You feel me? And of course, he's going to have fans. Of course, I'm going to have haters because I already have a lot of those that's going to be in the comment section saying otherwise, disagreeing with what I say. That's life. That's how this shit works. I really don't care. I need my credit. And that's that. You feel me? Y'all leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the situation. It's your boy up class. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. After you subscribe, remember this. Whenever you watch my videos, it's all jokes, man. You gotta come over here and get a laugh. Don't hate me because I gave you a low rating. Hate yourself because you ain't make a fire song. <laughs> it's your boy BMG, man. Good. Bow!